different Israelis um, operating within the rules of war that you talked about last week being so important. Good talking to you. Thank Thanks you, sir. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. So, my friends, it appears that things are not too good in the Biden administration. Um. Anyway. And it all concerns President Biden's support of this. Well, that's a very nice and diplomatic way of putting it. But based on this article I'm going to read, I would say that President Biden is the Huffington Post writes that morale is low and some staffers are preparing to formally express their opposition to President Joe Biden's approach. Furthermore, you continue upon this course and insist upon this launch without confirming this message first, oh, I will be... Cheap. In fact, officials have told the Huffington Post that Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and his most senior advisors are overlooking widespread internal frustration with some staffers saying they feel as if Blinken and his team are uninterested in their own experts advice as they focus on supporting Israel's expanding operation in Gaza. There's basically a mutiny brewing within state at all levels. I you order you to place the command Hemto Captain. under arrest on the charge of mutiny. Another two unnamed officials told Huffington Post that diplomats are preparing what's called a descent cable, which is a document criticizing American policy that goes to the agency's leaders through a protected internal channel. Such cables are seen within the State Department as consequential statements of serious disagreement at key historical moments. The Descent Channel was established amid deep internal conflict during the Vietnam War, and diplomats have used it to warn that the US is making a dangerous and self-defeating choices abroad. All the deaths of, I mean, three, nearly three and a half thousand Gazans, a great number of those women and children. You say you're trying to target Hamas, but at this point, surely a ceasefire could be the best route forward. That's what the United Nations says. Try to take a step back, look at the situation, and respond with clarity and calculation rather than perhaps with emotion. Uh, I'd like to fix what you said. You said Israel is responsible for the deaths of 3,500 Gazans. Israel is responsible? Are you sure? Well, Israeli is airstrikes have killed three, three, The numbers we have seen, three yeah. and a half thousand Gazans no, 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 have been killed. No, 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 but you said Among they were responsible. There's a big difference. Well, if you, yes, if you, bomb, if you bomb areas where there are civilians, that means that Israel is responsible, surely? No, no. Uh, those who are responsible are Hamas, who target and shoot rockets from their those very locations. Israel is not responsible for the death of one Palestinian. Josh Paul, a veteran State Department official, announced his resignation on Wednesday after more than a decade of working on arms deals because, and get this, he could not morally support the U.S. moves to supply Israel's war effort. To add fuel to the fire, on Wednesday, the US mission to the United Nations vetoed a UN resolution backed by many countries that condemned all violence against civilians, including by Hamas, and endorsed humanitarian aid for Gaza. The result of the voting is as follows. 12 votes in favor one vote against, two abstentions. 
the draft resolution has not been adopted owing to the negative vote of a permanent member of the council. Now, counterparts in Arab governments are telling State Department officials that the U.S. is at risk of losing support in their region for an entire generation. ...that died lying! We understand that you're a news channel, you have your foreign policy, but where's your humanity? Where? Where is your humanity? How many children died? I ask you to condemn the Israeli government. Air this! Air this! You liar! Here's another quote from a senior department official. And it goes like this. There's a sense in the workforce that the secretary doesn't see the crisis of morale or doesn't care. And the feeling extends to high ranking figures at the agency. It's really quite bad. One official described Pears as depressed and angry about it all, while another said some staffers are experiencing resignation. I quit. One official told the Huffington Post that he recalled another colleague saying that the US policy statements emphasize support for Israel over the lives of Palestinians. Understand. What is the logic of Israel carpet bombing Gaza? I mean, if there is a logic, if it is a good, if this will make Israel safe, I want to hear the logic. So, if they continue bombing, what are they hoping to achieve? That's well, I think what, we know what, what their we know what their stated aim is. Their stated aim is to eradicate yes. and wipe out Hamas. They believe Hamas no, are yeah, living but, are living predominantly in northern Gaza. They also are aware they're living amongst civilians. So, if I can understand this correctly, basically Israel is doing this to pressure the Palestinian community in Gaza to turn against Hamas. Is that right? I'm sure that's part of it, yes. That's part of it. So this is exactly what terrorist organizations do, because terrorist organizations will have no chance beating a whole nation in battle. So they terrorize and they kill the civilians in order to spread fear and terror so they can turn against their government to change their policy or to resign. You have just compared Israel with ISIS. But more than that, senior department officials are privately discouraged the agency from using three specific phrases in public statements de-escalation or ceasefire end to violence and or bloodshed and restoring calm the severity of the language in the descent cable and the number of state department officials who sign it will offer a picture of how alarmed staffers are at America's response to the situation in Gaza and how broad the disagreement with Biden's policy is. <laughs> Staff across the Biden administration said they are experiencing a chilling effect at work. One person said there is a culture of silence and expressing their views on Palestine and another said they felt shame at working within the US government at the moment. I don't think we're gonna be able to stop this train and the real question is, how long does it take before everyone in the region jumps in? The oh. Turks are there, the Iranians are there, the Saudis, the Iraqis, the Syrians, uh, Lebanon, Egypt, Everyone is watching and waiting. And it's not because they're all eager to get killed in a large war, but everyone in the region, Judge, is emoting. Remember, Ant Anthony Blinken showed up and, and insisted that he tell the people he was talking to, you know, I'm Jewish. Well, you know, Mr. Secretary of State, there are a lot of Muslims out there and they're taking the same position. They're Muslims and they are watching film footage that is destructive. You know, the Israelis have already lost this uh, PR battle, if you will. They can't possibly win it. You don't win that kind of battle by killing, I think the total is now over 4,000 people in Gaza, 1,500 of which are children. I don't care how justified your cause is, that doesn't help you. That helps your opponents. And mm -hmm. the opponents are gathering and we're doing nothing to stop that. 